morning to everybody. I'm doing another challenge. This is the Christmas Cocoa Bar Challenge in Collab. And it's being put on by the Bargain Hunter with Tennessee Kim. They both are great channels. You need to go and check them out. I find that they have a lot of good content, a lot of interesting things. They do do challenges and jump in and try one out. You might find out you might like doing them. Uh, you just really need to go check out their channels. They do have so many interesting things on both channels. The rules for this challenge are title your video Christmas Cocoa Bar Challenge Collab. Mention the channels Bargain Hunter and Tennessee Kim in your video and leave a link to, to it in your video and description box. Include one DIY repurpose or upscaling item or thrift store item in your finished product. Upload your video by 5 p.m. on Monday, December 9th, 2019 or whenever you can, we know how life goes, goes. And number five, enjoy your beautiful new hot cocoa bar. They are so awesome. You can tell by just the rules how awesome these girls are. And they do like repurposing a lot of things. And I wanna show you what I'm using for uh, my repurposing. Um, this beautiful wreath, believe it or not, I made it from scratch. And if you want to go and see how I did it, it was posted on November 17th, 2019, International Christmas Wreath Challenge 2019. Um, but I'm going to re still reuse this. I'm just going to change it a little. But this is how it was on the challenge that I did in November. Is it not beautiful? I am so amazed that I made this from scratch. I can't even believe it. But if you want to see how I did it, go over and check that video. This is so easy, so simple. Uh, I think the total cost was under $10 for everything. That means the, uh, the, the decorations, the yarn, the, the frame, everything. It was very inexpensive and it turned out awesome and I love it. And this is going to be one of my pride and joy wreaths because I've done several and the Halloween one was nice too. I don't want to say it wasn't, but this is really my favorite for some reason. I just love it. And it is so easy because those flowers just clip on. So you can take them off and do whatever you want. And that, I think that's why I like this. It's so simple, so basic. I can change it to do anything I want it to do. So I'm going to use this same wreath. I'm going to change it a little and uh, see what you think. Uh, then my thrifted item... I got this about a month or maybe six weeks ago at um, Goodwill. I've already used it in a couple of um, posts already for Christmas. I, pr I purposely bought it because it had a Christmas look to it. And I couldn't believe that I found this right before Christmas. So, of course, I purchased it. And then one of my followers gave me all these beautiful um, pine cones. They were already frosted. I didn't have to do anything. I love it. So those were free. And I'm not going to count the cost of any food items because we're going to eat them. So that is nothing we haven't already had. Uh, the, so this whole mess, no, I shouldn't say mess, all this stuff I have, I don't know if I'm going to use everything on here, but um, the only thing that is actually new that I've paid for recently that I haven't put up already are these two cups with the red cardinals on them. And I love them. And that's what I'm going to use. So that's the only thing new. Everything else here I've already had. It's been given to me. I've purchased in the past. They've all been up on past videos except for the food items. Well, I'll take that back. Half those candy canes were used in another post uh, also. But the rest of the food items, um, they're, they're new food items. But, well, maybe not new exactly. Because, you know, I've mentioned before. I always have these in my house. I love them, so they're, they're just something I have. But the rest of these things, we're not counting the cost of the cookies and the cakes because we're going to eat them. So this whole cocoa bar is going to cost me $2 because everything else I already had. Uh, I'm going to put this together. I, I don't know how to set up a uh, my tablet. 
because I don't usually use a camera with anything. I use a tablet to do all my filming and I don't know how to set it up and put it together and edit. So you'll have to bear with me. I'm going to put this together, but these are the items I'm going to use. Now it's possible I may not use all these items uh, or I may, I don't know. I'm just throwing out here what I'm probably going to try to use. But I need to make room for everything. And there's not a lot of area here. And I have a lot of things out here. So I'm, we're going to come back after I get it all put together. And sorry, I got it too jumpy. Uh, we'll see what I come up with. Well, it ended up costing me a couple more dollars than what I originally said. Ended up costing me five dollars. Um, I'll show you what the only costs were. I had these three snowflakes that I bought over at uh, Dollar Tree, so that was three dollars. I bought uh, these two cups uh, with the red cardinals was two cups. I mean, for two dollars. I mean, one dollar a piece. So, three snowflakes, two cups, five dollars. So, this whole hot cocoa bar was $5. That was for the two cups and the three snowflakes. All the other snowflakes you see, uh, I already had. I already had the snowflake theme coming along, so I thought it would add to it. And the only real change I made to my wreath is I added these beautiful, it's a real Christmas bell there and some pine cones to give it a little more festive uh, appearance have my little gnome over here riding on the owl going woo as they land and like I said I got the uh, uh, teapot from um, secondhand store from the Goodwill so uh, I already had it so there was no recost for that everything you see here I already had this container back here that was the metal uh, that came with these um, jars there's four jars all together but I'm only using two because I wanted to have my hot chocolate and tea in the center I like to put a little peppermint in my um, uh, hot cocoa and I would say a drop and I'm not exaggerating you only need a drop or less and if you want to make it look a little more festive after you put your marshmallows in, you can sprinkle a little bit of the uh, peppermint uh, little glitter on top and that's of course sugar so it's not going to hurt anybody and I got the marshmallows got the candy canes to steer the hot chocolate with I got all my treats I got these little these are mostly all from little Debbie's these here they have a lot of uh, Christmas ones uh, right now because of Christmas the little Christmas trees and the little snowflakes and these have a little um, cherry filling inside. So good. I love them. They're one of my favorites. So this is how my $5 cocoa bar turned out. I hope you liked it. Hope I gave you some inspiration. I hope I gave you some new ideas. I don't know if anybody else uses peppermint uh, uh, extract in their hot chocolate but I do and I do love it but like I said you use it very very sparingly a little tiny bit goes a long ways with that and if you don't want to do that you could just put your marshmallows in and shake a little bit of that on top of the marshmallows and it will look fabulous I uh, I don't know if I mentioned or not these beautiful pine cones with all the frosted were from one of my followers they gave them to me at no cost so that also was zero cost I do get things given to me all the time from followers that follow my channel and I sure appreciate it because it saves me a ton of money because it's all those little pine cones really set that off with that snow on top just love it I hope you all loved it as much as I do and don't forget if you love that wreath go back over on November the 17th I did a post on it it was a challenge and you go over there and look at how easy that was it didn't take any time at all to put that together and that is one of my favorite things that I have actually done now I don't do a lot of DIYs 
but I did do this one by myself and I thought it turned out so awesome. Well, that's it for me. If you're not already following, I hope you consider following. And if you're already following, do please go down there and leave me a comment. I have a very small channel. I don't have any income coming in from this. Everything I do is at my own expense or what people give me. So the only real uh, encouragement it gives me is to get those comments. So please go over and give me some comments and let me know how you how you liked. Oh my gosh, I just noticed my my little reindeer was getting covered up by that treat. Aren't they cute? Those are from Dollar Tree too, my favorite store. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope if you guys want some little Christmas decorations, it doesn't cost you very much money. Dollar Tree is a great place to go. Joann's also, uh, Michael's. Uh, there's a lot of great places out there that if you get those 50% coupons, you can get some really good buys. Well, that's all for now. Bye-bye. Have a nice holiday season to you and your families. God bless you all. Thank you very much. I appreciate that you came by to check out this post. Bye-bye. Almost forgot. I hope you come back and check out my channel for future uh, we have beginning uh, crafts, beginning uh, home tablescapes. Everything is for beginners because Grandma's a beginner. I've only been doing this a couple months. So everything you see is for beginners only. So for my young adults, beginners, this is where you can come because I'm right here with you. We'll learn together. Bye-bye for now. Well, when I was taking everything apart to put it away, I uh, noticed how much better it looked even more, I would say more simplified, not so cluttered. So I thought I would take a short little video to give you an update how else you could do a copy bar. I think I like it even better this way. And I have all the treats over in one container. That probably is a better way to have it set up than the way I had it. And of course I have my cocoa cups right in the center. And they're all ready for that wonderful hot chocolate. Yum, yum. Well, I hope you enjoyed this simplified version of the same cocoa bar. Just took a few things away and made it look a little more manageable. Well, I hope you enjoyed this update. Bye-bye. And if you have a really tiny place, look at this awesome, awesome, tiny, tiny coffee and tea cocoa bar. It's tiny, but it'll fit any place in your kitchen. Thought I'd just give you another update since I'm taking my cocoa bar apart and I have a tiny, tiny kitchen, so this is how it's gonna end up. Small, but it'll still work. Bye-bye.